year always starts on a high note for the ANC. The party's celebrations of its birthday on the 8th of January this year was no different. The rally at the Peter Makaba Stadium was the culmination of a series of birthday events in Polokwane, which is of course the place where President Jacob Zuma defeated former President Mbeki for the ANC presidency. But all of that was forgotten when comrades packed the stadium to hear what the ANC has to offer for the year ahead. Always a crowd pleaser, ANC Youth League President Julius Malema reminded the audience of his view that nationalization is the answer to all economic problems in South Africa. The ANC leadership on stage did not react. Comrade President, we've got a special request. We request you to lead us into the economic freedom. Political power without economic power is useless. You can vote until you become big. As long as you don't have economic power, that vote is meaningless. We cannot accept the gap between the rich and the poor. We cannot allow the economy to continue to be in the hands of white males. We want the economy to be transferred into the hands of the people. Nationalization is the solution to the problems we are confronted with. Thank you very much. The weather put a damper on things when it started raining shortly before Zuma's speech and comrades had to go out of the stadium and look for shelter. But thousands stayed behind to hear Zuma's big promise, to change the economy and create jobs. He told the crowd, the ANC needs to pull up its socks when it comes to job creation. But the real shocker came when he said that foreigners would not be allowed to own land in South Africa anymore. The restoration of the land to the people has always been an integral part of the struggle for freedom. In order to have more land available for land reform and restitution, government is looking at the three forms of land holding. These are state land that can only be held through leasehold, freehold with limited extent on private land and foreigners will be allowed to lease land but ownership will revert to South Africans. Comrades and friends, the country needs strong and diverse media that is independent of commercial and political interests, which will support nation building as well as efforts to deepen, consolidate and strengthen our democracy social coercion and good governance. The municipal elections are key to the ANC menu for 2011 and Zuma assured comrades that councillors will be properly screened before they are put up as candidates. This year, our people will return to the polls to choose local government representatives of their choice. However, we acknowledge that there are problems in certain municipalities and that some councillors do not perform their tasks in the desired manner. We have removed many such councillors from office already. The NC Youth League, historically the breeding ground for the future leadership of our movement, should provide political leadership 
and guidance to the youth and help us to make the ANC the natural political home of South Africans, of the South African youth. The ANC Youth League must bring hope and confidence to all the youth of our country. The 2009 general election demonstrated that this is possible given the response of the youth to the innovative mobilization work of the ANC Youth League. Happy 99th anniversary to you all. Manja! Away too! Don't leave the African National Congress, long leave! Don't leave the ANC, long leave! Thank you very much, Congress, thank you. The party got started with great expectations and it promises that this year will be one to remember.